Yo, I'm back. And today I have for you a review of the Swamp Water by Nola Bags. Um, real quick, we'll jump into the looks of the bag. Um, it's got the same picture front and back. Um, it just kind of looks like a, maybe a, a Louisiana swamp, kind of that uh, little haze or fog in there along with some moss on growing off these trees as well. Uh, really clean, simple look. Um, these bags do come in, I think, eight or ten different colors. You can kind of customize them that way. The front just says Swamp Water at the bottom. Back has the NOLA Bags logo. Uh, pretty cool logo. I like it. Um, they're also ACL Pro stamped as well. Um, have the Throat At little slogan on the side here. Um, really clean, simple looking bags. I really like the design of them um, a lot. So yeah, I think, I think they're great. As far as the materials, um, it's brand new materials. First time I pulled these these out of the bag, I was like, well, this is different. Um, they feel super soft. I mean, they came out of the bag already broken, super floppy, um, really, really felt great. Um, like I said, soft bags. The fill is really fine, almost like a um, like a sand, like a beach sand fill. Really weird in there. It's not something I'm used to. Uh, makes, it, makes it kind of feel fluid in your hand. Um, I think it adds to the softness of it. The slow side material, I, the best way I can describe it is um, if you know those couches or furniture where you would take your hand and you'd rub your hand one way, it would be dark. The other way it would lighten up so you could kind of, you know, play with the directions you could draw right in the in the fabric. That's, that's kind of what this feels like. Um, the fast side feels more like a typical bag material, but I don't recognize it as one that's been used. I, I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, overall, Feel great, like I said, super soft, um, feel amazing. And when I got these, I just couldn't wait to get out and throw them. Um, as far as the bag speeds themselves, Nola rates the slow size a five, fast size an eight. Um, I'm okay with the eight on the fast side. I think it played somewhere between a seven and an eight, so, but I'm fine calling that an eight. Slow side to me played closer to a four. I, I didn't really get a five speed out of it. Um, it. It played more like a traditional carpet style bag than it did um, a non carpet bag. So I think I would go more four, eight, four, seven, four, four, seven, eight, somewhere in that range, maybe four, seven, eight. I don't know. So we'll, we'll go four, eight on this bag is what I, is what I would say it plays like. Um, it's not well, it, it's not well. It doesn't do well in humid conditions. It really just comes to a stop. So it's not a bag you're gonna throw if you're if you're playing in humid weather or you live in a humid climate. It's not a great bag for that at all. Um, um, jump to playability for this bag. So as much as I like the feel of the bag, um, I didn't like so much the way it played. A um, couple things here. Initially, when I first started throwing it in, in my grip, I, I do a butterfly grip when I throw, you know, you pinch it down, which kind of locks the, the fill in place and holds it there. The problem is with this fill being so fine, it just doesn't lock in place. So right now, when I squeeze it down, it's not compressing and filling up this edge. So there, there's nothing here. What happens though, is when I turn this bag over, everything shifts. So now there's material here, but it's 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 changed the way it feels in my hand. It's still floppy, it's not rigid, it's not locked down. So when you go to throw, you know, you. I, I pinch it and I go to throw and as I'm going back the fill is shifting in there which is just I don't know if it really physically messes with the actual mechanics of the throw but in my mind I can feel it shifting which is I feel like I have to adjust for that and just mentally it's messing with 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 the way I throw the bag um, you know a traditional bag um, we'll take like this Windsor the the, the platinum uh, Windsor Reynolds bag you know when you when you pinch this down and throw it it, it it locks everything squeezes out and it fills up here you can see it fills up and this bag's not moving no matter how much I flop it fling it around like that bag is still locked in place right you take this one and you lock it down and if I flip it and flop it when I come back you know this material is, is still it, it still moves you know so I pinch it down see there's nothing here and then you go flip it and flop it around and now it fills up because that material's all shifted around whereas again on this bag you know you squeeze down it immediately fills up right there like that squeeze forces that fill that resin to fill up this fine resin isn't doing that and so that that's that was my first issue i had with the bag it took me half hour or so throwing with the bag before i really started getting comfortable and just learning to deal with that um the other issue i had is um and, and I think it's still feel related as well, is this bag just wasn't very forgiving around the hole. It wasn't super hole friendly. Um, you're throwing it straight, perfect, right down the line, it's going in the hole with no problem. When you're offline, just a touch, typically what happens is when the bag goes by, it'll, as it crosses over that hole, it'll, it'll dip in, the corner will dip in, the side will dip in, grab the hole, spins the bag around and pulls it back in and either sets it there or, or, or drains or melts right into the hole. 
this bag more times than not was going on and it was just skipping across the hole not even not even spin around occasionally it would catch and spin but it wouldn't drop in it would just spin and sit on the back of the hole really became uncollectible almost sitting there ready for an and one by your opponent um, every now and then I could get it to catch and spin and and, and hang very rarely did it drop in um, this slow side is so slow that it just it would catch and I found more times I just wanted to hang on the side of the hole and not go in um, I found this bag a lot of times wanted to bunch clog the hole more than collect and go in um, I just I, I, when I was doing my my editing for my my videos of my throwing I didn't realize it until I started watching them how many times I just kept throwing my hands up frustrated because the bag didn't do what I thought it should do or what I wanted it to do um, and, and it just it just started frustrating me and as I get it I, as I was becoming more frustrated and less confident in the bag my throw is more as good and so it just I, I think I didn't enjoy throwing the bag as much as, as I thought I was going to. Um, again, I, I, I the, the grip and I think the hole fitness are both fill related. Um, the materials themselves, I think, are great. I, I really do like them. I didn't have an issue with the materials. I don't. I mean, um, even you know the, the the slow side played a lot like a carpet. The one thing it didn't do is didn't have as much kick as you would in a carpet bag. So if you don't have a great flat bag but you want to play a slower bag, this may be something you want to look at. Um, the fast side, um, you know. Plenty fast enough for, for collecting a, a slower bag. I mean, this stuff, when it hit and stopped, it did want to stay, so you had to throw a little harder to collect, but I, I could collect with this fast side. Um, but the problem I found is, even on the fast side, it still wasn't as hole friendly as I wanted it to be. Um, it, it was better, just not where I wanted it to be. Um, again, this slow side made a great blocker, um, not as easy to collect as, as I think I would have on a lot of other carpet bags that I play with. I mean, this. You know this this platinum bag um, is a four seven speed similar very similar to this bag as far as the speeds on it. But to me, this bag's more hole friendly, more used to collect. It's just it's just a better, more enjoyable playing bag than I than I had with this. Um, so I, I applaud Nola for the innovation for trying different materials, trying a different fill. I I, I really I, I respect that, and I hope they continue to do that. What I would like to see them is to keep the same materials in this bag and and change the fill, come out with a you know more of that disc or bead fill in there something more traditional fill and see if that doesn't fix the the whole friendliness of it it doesn't you know it, see if it makes it a little more forgiving bag than what it is now um I, I, I hope you know i hope they're willing to do that i think that will improve the way and that's that's just my opinion you know i have nothing other than the way i think it played for me again you know if you've got a different playing style this may play better for you um, I, I just don't see this being a bag that you're going to see competitive advanced or pro players throwing this is more of a beginner intermediate type bag. You know, someone who, who doesn't have a very flat throw, when you put carpet in their hand, it's kicking on them all the way and they just can't control it. And you put a faster bag and it doesn't kick and it's just flying off the back. I think this is where this bag would shine. Put it in their hand, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's sticky enough, it'll stop, they can keep the bags on the board. Um, it's not gonna kick that much. Um, I, so I, I can see this more in, you know, kind of if you have, you know, a, a more of a social league where you have a lot of people playing who just aren't that competitive they just want a bag they can throw and just put some bags on the board that's where i think you'll see this and these bags run i think about 70 bucks for a set so they're not you know they're at the lower end of the price range so that's kind of the i think the art the audience they're target the target audience for them is kind of those beginner intermediate type players not really the elites um, or even the, the advanced players as well so um, not a bag I, I, that I can recommend as is right now. Again, I do appreciate Nola for, for, for taking initiative to try something different. And I hope they change this fill, keep this bag, keep these materials with the new fill, and let's see what that does. Um, but for right now, the way it stands, um, it's not a bag that I really want to throw again or enjoy throwing. Not a bag I'm ever going to recommend to you. Um, so hate to say that, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.